Welcome biologists to the first spec point on photosynthesis and here we're looking at the relationship between photosynthesis and respiration. So we should know from GCSE that carbon dioxide plus water in photosynthesis makes glucose plus oxygen and we should know that respiration is oxygen plus glucose and that makes water and carbon dioxide. Now you need to be aware of where the organisms are getting these materials from. So in photosynthesis the plant is getting carbon dioxide through the stomata in the leaves, it diffuses through the stomata in the leaves. The plant gets water from the roots which is taken up through the xylem and it produces glucose which could be stored as starch but it could be used in aerobic respiration and the oxygen is diffused into the um, atmosphere through the stomata. So in respiration we get oxygen from the atmosphere either it diffuses into the stomata or it might be breathed in or it might just diffuse across the membrane whatever the organism is and um, we get glucose from our diet or from the breaking down of starch um, and it produces water and carbon dioxide which is breathed out or released. Now I've seen this on a graph a couple of times where we need to know about the compensation point and the relationship between photosynthesis and carbon uh, and respiration on a graph. So here we have carbon dioxide in and out of the organism, it's normally a plant, um, and here we have the light intensity. So as the light intensity increases, I get a higher rate of photosynthesis in comparison to respiration. And I know that because I have a higher volume of, ox of carbon dioxide being taken in rather than it being taken out. Now it's really important when you have questions on graphs like this that you're using comparative terminology like higher rate or lower rate. Now at this point here on the graph, um, this is the point on the graph where my rate of photosynthesis is equal to the rate of respiration because the volume of carbon dioxide going into the plant is the same as the volume going out. Uh, so this is known as the compensation point on the graph, this point here. And below the axes here, you can see that I've got a higher rate of respiration um, in comparison to photosynthesis because, more, because I have more carbon dioxide going out. So here I have a couple of exam questions for you to have a look at. So whenever you're doing exam questions, I'd always underline and highlight the key terminology. So here I'm talking about carbon dioxide uptake. Uh, I'm talking about it during photosynthetic activity um, and I need to talk about and link it into oxygen production so if you want to pause the video and have a go at that here is the answer I'd also write something like this to help me understand and help my brain to figure out what is going on so here's the mark scheme for that make sure you're looking at both sides and make sure we're using descriptive terminology here's another part again underlining the key terminology and bits on the graph to make sure that I'm definitely talking about the right parts on the graph so for example A here and B here and um, just to make sure I'm talking about the right bits and pieces and here I'm talking about a process and not naming something so again pause the video and have a go and here are the answers again please note the part on the right hand side as well then the last bit this is the graph to which it's referring to it's a three marker Underline and highlight, make notes yourself. So these are the two biochemical processes that you should be thinking of. Guys, pause the video and have a go. And here's the mark scheme. So guys, with this, as much terminology as possible, um, use comparative statements to compare photosynthesis and respiration. Guys, good luck with your exams. Please share and like the videos. All the best.